Hello everybody, I'm Robert Donovan, and you're watching The Worker Capitalist. And welcome to this first video in the Lua for FXCM video series. This uh, first run through here, what I want to show you is the software that was uh, in the post I posted on, uh, first on meetpips.com and then later on uh, Worker Capitalist. Um, the, this is the market scope. 2.0 charting package that comes with FXCM Trading Station 2.0. And you get the FXCM Trading Station software whenever you open a basic currency account at FXCM. And the minimum balance for that is $50. That's $50 US. Um, don't know what that translates into in other currencies, but I'm thinking it's still not very much. The uh, point being here that with this software, it has built into it an alert and trading automation feature that enables you to backtest, optimize, and automate all of your own strategies or other strategies you get from a place called fxcodebase.com. And to do get a strategy or an indicator, I'm going to use an indicator as an example here. Um, I got this MA slope indicator, which you, you see right here. This is the MA slope indicator right there. This is the MA slope indicator that, uh, excuse me, that uh, it basically shows gray when the uh, average is considered flat, red when it's down, and up when it's, uh, or green when it's up. And uh, this doesn't come with market scope out of the box when you get it from FXCM. You have to import it. And the way I did that is you open up Add Indicator. And under on, on that dialog box, there's a button that says Import. And when you first import an indicator, this dialog box will be blank. There will be nothing in it. And you have to go to Download More Indicators, and which opens up the fxcodebase.com homepage. And here you see all of the most uh, recently submitted indicators and strategies. And you'll notice that the same names keep popping up as to the contributors. We thank them all. Um, I, I uh, really think they're, they're very, very brilliant and helpful people in many ways. But if you want to get a new indicator, let's say well, you wanted that MA slope indicator, this is the forum wherein all those indicators are uh, submitted or posted for download, consumption, and information. So what I did, I just opened up uh, the search window here and did MA slope and clicked search. And the results were MA slope oscillator and this here you have MA slope indicator. And there's a dot Lewis script associated with that. So you click on that, and you click Save File, and it'll download to your Downloads folder or wherever you tell it to download in Windows. Mine goes to the Downloads folder, which is the default. And when you go back into MarketScope and click Load, that will open up the Downloads folder. And if you click on that and then click Open, it will uh, import that into MarketScope. You click Close. And once it's imported into MarketScope, it shows up under the Other category on your list of indicators. Same thing can be done with strategies and uh, uh, signals. So it's a very simple process, and that's how you get them in. I'm pretty sure most people knew that already, but I don't want to assume any prior knowledge with this series. So I've got a couple here. This is the uh, MA slope uh, indicator. I also downloaded a very, it's called a non-lag moving average. And one of the things that the non-lag moving average tends to demonstrate is that it's still a moving average with all the inherent limitations thereof. It's a trend following indicator, guys. And if you don't have a trend, you can't make money with one. But we'll get into that on a later date. No philosophizing on indicators just yet. Anyway, uh, some other indicators I've got here, but basically this is uh, how market scope works. Well, how do you create these indicators? Well, the folks at FX Codebase have come up with a software development kit, which was the second thing we had you download from that post on meetpips.com. And the 
Indicore SDK, the Indicore Software Development Kit that we had you download from F FX Codebase, has three pieces, a Lua Editor, a Lua Indicator Debugger, and a Lua Strategy Debugger. All right, now the strategies are constructed from indicators, and the indicator debugger is used to backtest the uh, indicators you create with the Lua editor. Now, the Lua editor um, uses the, you know, one of the things that's very nice about this uh, Lua, uh, the Indicore SDK, is if you click help, it has a pretty good manual that's got a user guide that talks about all the various pieces of the software and how they work and, and what they do. And the, it talks about the structure of a strategy, what all the various functions and libraries do. The trouble, of course, with this is that they all assume that you have some enough knowledge of Lua in order to really understand what they're doing. So if you don't happen to know Lua, you can't use this all that effectively you, because it doesn't get you, if you were to create a new strategy, you've got this, you'll create this uh, uh, graphical interface here that will get you the beginning bits of the strategy. It'll get you this, it'll get you the starting point, but it doesn't get you all the way there. It doesn't give you the code for your calculations for the indicator. And that's what you need Lua for. So uh, you, uh, that, that's what's missing from the graphical interface. It doesn't create the full indicator. It only creates sort of the headings and basic structure of the indicator, but it doesn't create the content of the indicator or the strategy. That you have to know Lua for. So for learning Lua, we had you download the Lua for Windows package. Now, again, if you're using Linux, and you're going to see me in this series, you're going to see me working from my Linux shell on more than one occasion to use the Lua interpreter in there. Because if you open up a Linux shell and you have Lua installed and you click Lua, now you're into a Linux or a Linux-based uh, Lua environment. And that's the uh, Lua interpreter that comes with Linux. The Lua for Windows package has a similar thing. It's got a basic Lua interpreter here that will do the exact same thing I just did. And that's all that is, is a basic Lua interpreter. And we're going to be using that later on. It also comes with the Skite integrated development environment. Now with Skite things are a little more sophisticated and in order to get this to work you have to create a file which I did here called uh, hello.lua and I just put a couple lines of code in it and then saved it. Once you save it this button shows up in the menu bar here and or the, the toolbar here and if you click it, it runs your code and you see the output in the output window down at the bottom. Go ahead and raise that up a little bit here. Um, so that is what uh, is going on with that. We're going to be using mostly the Lua interpreter, not so much the Skype development environment. If you want to use that in Windows, go ahead. Uh, there's really no reason not to. If you want to use some other development environment that can do Lua, uh, you won't hurt my feelings. It just, you need some way to write your code and some way to run your code. After that, we're all just kind of trying to figure out Lua. So that's really all I have for this uh, video. And the next videos we're going to be looking at are how to, the, the basics of Lua. We're going to start with the, the, from the very beginning, from Hello World, and then work our way up to, all the way up to tables, functions, closures, and all the stuff you need to know to understand what's going on in the Indicore SDK. So I thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.